Hi everybody, it's Dr. Asha DeVos. First and foremost, yes, uh, we are in a stressful situation in, uh, with regards to our marine environment. As you all know, there is uh, uh, the ship MV Express Pearl has been on fire for a few days. I want to acknowledge all the people on the ground who are working really hard to manage that situation, to curtail the fire. Uh, they've gone to great lengths to try to, uh, to manage what is going on on the ground and it's not an easy task. It is stressful for many of us. There are lots of questions that we have that uh, we don't necessarily have answers for yet. I appreciate people reaching out and asking me questions. If I have the answers, I'm more than happy to share. But if I don't know the answers, I'm also more than happy to take, tap into my networks of oil spill experts, chemical oceanographers, physical oceanographers, who can help us to understand what's going on a bit better. So please send the questions in. I'll do my best to try to respond. Um, but apart from that, I know there's a sense of helplessness. Everyone's getting upset about what they're seeing. So I want to give you an opportunity to get involved in some of the science and it doesn't require you going out. I acknowledge we're in a lockdown. But what I would say is if you have pictures of this coastline where we are seeing the debris getting uh, pushed up on shore, um, you know, the Nigambo Sea, that whole coastline, we're seeing pictures of, uh, you know, bagfuls of garbage coming in. If you have pictures from before this event, I will ask you to please consider sending it in to info at oceanswell.org with your full name, maybe the date of when you took it and where that photograph was taken. Here's why. If we have pictures of before the event, we can compare them with pictures of the beach now as this event unfolds. This is really important for our science. This is really important for Sri Lanka at this moment to document everything that's going on. So I ask you, if you've ever frolicked along that coastline, if you've ever gone for a swim and you or your friends have taken any pictures of that beautiful coastal stretch prior to this incident, I would encourage you to please send them in to info at oceanswell.org.